good morning children welcome back today in this video we will discuss the remaining part of lesson 1 that is a computer system okay so now let's start with the chapter first topic is input devices so what are input devices the devices that are used for entering data and instructions are called input devices okay input can be in any form like words numbers pictures sound etc for example keyboard mouse scanner etc now let's discuss various input devices first one is keyboard a keyboard contains alphabets numbers symbols and commands in the form of buttons or keys as you can see in the image also this is a keyboard it contains alphabets numbers then symbols and commands in the form of buttons or these are the keys usually a keyboard has around 104 keys on it okay next is mouse a mouse is a handheld pointing device it is used to point select drag an object and scroll the computer screen okay see this is a mouse it has a left button then right button and a scroll wheel on it next is scanner a scanner takes input in the form of an image printed on the paper and stores it on the computer for future use see this is a scanner and we place the printed paper here okay next is your microphone a microphone is used to take input in the form of sound it helps users in recording their voice or any sound into the computer so this is your microphone right next is touch screen see this is a touch screen a touch screen takes input through the touch of a finger as you can see here touch of a finger or either we can use a pen shaped device that is called stylus okay we can point to objects by directly touching them with our fingers okay next is light pen a light pen looks like a pen it is used to select write or draw on the computer screen by directly pointing with the pen see this is a light pen okay then next is joystick a joystick is a pointing device used to control the movement of a pointer on the screen it is mainly used while playing games to move a character or object so where is the joystick this is the joystick okay next is processing device the CPU central processing unit is a processing device it is also called as the brain of computer it takes data from input device processes them and sends result to the output device okay it has three main parts that is ALU CU and MU now we will discuss about ALU, CU and MU. ALU means arithmetic and logical unit. It performs all mathematical calculations and logical operations. Okay. Next is CU. CU means control unit. It manages logical unit, memory unit as well as input and output devices. Then next third one is your MU that is memory unit it holds the data and instructions that are entered through the input device okay now let's discuss output devices the devices that display the result after processing are known as output devices for example 
monitor, printer, speaker, plotter and much more. Now let's discuss various output devices. So the first one is monitor. A monitor displays your work on a screen that looks like a television screen or TV screen. It is also known as visual display unit or we can say VDU in short. Then the output on a monitor screen is known as a soft copy. See this is your monitor screen. It looks like a TV screen. Okay. The different types of monitors are first is cathode ray tube that is CRT monitor. Next is light emitting diode that is LED monitor and the last one is liquid crystal display or we can say LCD monitors. Understood? Next output device is printer. You must have seen printer. Where is printer? This is a printer. Okay. It produces output on a piece of paper. See? This is a piece of paper and the output is being printed on this. Which then is called the hard copy. So which is the hard copy? This output which we are receiving on the paper is known as the hard copy. Next device is speaker. A speaker produces output in the form of sound. Where is speaker? These are the speakers. Okay. The next one is headphones. These are used for privately listening to audio output such as music or speech. So here this is your headphones. Okay. And the last output device is projector. The projector displays the output on a large screen. You must have seen projectors in your computer labs. It is generally used for showing presentations or movies. So here is your pr projector. So this is a projector. And now children I hope you have understood all the topics very well. So thank you so much.